Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for August 13th through the 19th. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the reading. I'm still doing the weekly giveaway, but I went over last week's video and I talked way too long over the intro and I don't want to do that this week. Um, this week is going to be the decks that I talked about last week, so check that out. If you want to enter to win a used tarot deck, go to Amethyst Angelite Facebook and Instagram on Monday and enter there to win. So Virgo, I'm asking for a card for Monday, Tuesday for you all. Here's your Monday, Tuesday card. I'm asking for a card for Wednesday, Thursday. There's your Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And a love card. I'm going to pull your love card from the same deck. We'll see what uh, message there is for you guys in love life this week. And we'll go ahead and put love right there. And we'll take a look at it in just a moment. So, guys, keep in mind we're coming off the Lionsgate energy. We have the eclipse that's happening on uh, Saturday before you're seeing this reading. And so there's a lot of intense emotions for a lot of us right now. So if you're going through a hard time, you are not alone. There's the incense smoke blowing in as confirmation to that fact. And so Monday, Tuesday is going to be Three of Cups for you guys, Virgo. This is good. I think that, you know, for those of you who maybe were feeling that heavy energy, now you're in a time of where you're ready to connect with others. For some of you, this may be reaching out or getting together with old friends or like a celebrating or celebrating some epiphany or idea that you had with the energies that came in. But this is definitely a positive uh, card, a positive uh, uh, feeling coming in where you're enjoying yourself, you're enjoying life. I'm hearing enjoying the fruits of your labor for some of you. So there may be some kind of payout coming out early in the week. Maybe some of you Virgos, you were feeling that heavy energy last week and you applied yourself extra at work or you tried to you know, focus it or like put that anxiety or that worry or their sadness, use it as fuel moving into like career or work or some project. And so that might be paying off for you early on in this week so congrats so wednesday thursday for virgo we've got five of wands now uh five of wands is competition so whatever's happening early on in the week we talked about having the three of cups and you know that celebration that joy uh, being social, celebrating, maybe going out to celebrate something. Five of Wands is competition. So this is going to apply in different ways for different ones of you. For some of you, you're going to have to deal with competing goals in your life. Um, you're going to have to decide whatever came in that you're celebrating. Are you going to focus more on that avenue? Are you going to put more into that side project or career or whatever it is? Or are you going to seek a more traditional route or vice versa? Or... For other ones of you, what this card can mean is people might be seeing you celebrating. Maybe you got a little bit of like a, pr a promotion at work or a bonus or, or somebody gave you like a shout out at a meeting or something and, and you received some like accolade, right? Uh, so people might be seeing you as the person they kind of want to take out. You know, like you're the person to beat at this point. So there may be a victory, but for some of you, that victory is coming in with, oh, well, now that's the person we have to beat or that's the person we want to be where that person is standing. So be aware and be prepared for that. Don't take it personal. Don't get all hurt. You know, um, take it as a compliment. Take it as a compliment. So your Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Virgo. We have four of wands. Again, this is celebration. So I think whatever is going on, because you have three of cups in the beginning of the week and you have four of wands in the end of the week and you've got competition in the middle, I feel like some of you Virgos, like maybe you're on fire or you've been on fire and, and this is the week where that positive recognition is coming in and you're celebrating. Things are coming together. Even though four of wands may not be a card that has to do typically with... Um, you know, people, tarot readers might not pick up this card and say, oh, you're going to buy a house. 
I think for some of you, there's something with getting rooted or getting grounded. So it could be um, you're celebrating and you're taking some money and you're investing it into like remodeling or expanding on your home or, or, or purchasing a property or a home. But I feel for some of you, Virgos, there's something going on with home. And this is just something that's coming in intuitively. It's not necessarily a meaning from the card. I did have somebody comment on one of the other videos last week about how I was like reading a card incorrectly. The cards have their meanings. I know that they do, but I am also an intuitive reader. And for some of you, I am getting there is something happening with house or home. Um, but uh, it feels like expanding, expanding of a home. So you have a lot to celebrate this week, Virgo. I think the energies are good. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Not all of us are going through the same thing at the same time. This may resonate with some of you. Some of you it's not going to resonate with other ones of you. Uh, just know and, you know check out your your uh your other signs you know we have our our sun sign star sign rising sign ascended sign all that good stuff check out the other signs some weeks are going to resonate more than others check out the choose your own reading some weeks those resonate really strong with some people i'm going to do another one in a few days subscribe to the channel hit the notification icon and you'll get a notice when that video is up so for love, Virgo, 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 you have four of pentacles. So this could be either you or someone in the relationship and a whole ton of smoke just came blowing over. So that to me is huge confirmation that some of you Virgos need to be listening right now. Um, for some of you Virgos, you are the person in the relationship. And for some of you Virgos, you're in a relationship with this person. But your partner may be very clingy or you may be very clingy to your partner, vice versa over feeling of financial security this is not necessarily meaning that you are a gold digger or that you are with a gold digger but it does absolutely mean there might be some fear like i can't let this relationship fall apart because i need this person don't know how i'm going to pay rent without them don't know what i'm going to do without them so there may be some insecurity and there may be some controllingness that that might be happening in the relationship as a result for some of you, this has nothing to do with um, with uh, with money. It just might be a possessiveness or insecurity or jealousy or just kind of feeling like can't let you too far out of my sight because I want to make sure that I'm not going to lose you to somebody else. But it's a very tight holding on to. So um, I would say this week would be a really good week to try to work on ways of helping yourself and or your partner to feel more secure in the relationship address those kinds of issues before they turn into petty arguments and disagreements and jealousy for those of you who are uh, single uh, this can mean a couple of things either you're still holding on to a past relationship and even though you've told yourself you know what i'm ready to move on i want somebody new so i can forget the last person your heart or your emotions still might be holding on very tightly to that past experience, whether it's being very hurt or having resentment or even being in love with the person. But there might be some emotional release that needs to occur. There is some uh, cord cutting that might need to happen for some of you single ones. Uh, for those of you who are single and who are looking for a relationship, it could also be that you are um, trying too hard or you might feel like, oh, that, that relationship, or I thought that was going to be a relationship, getting to know that person was going well, and kind of like what happened, we went on a couple of dates and they disappeared. Uh, it could be that, that maybe they felt that like you were really wanting this relationship, or maybe they felt a little bit like, wow, this person's really been hurt, and I'm scared I'm going to screw up, and I don't want to hurt them. So there could have been some kind of thing like that, where somebody maybe felt like, okay, I don't want to go into a relationship with this person don't beat yourself up don't get all hurt don't get all upset it's okay you know it's okay there's going to be other people coming in but virgo for this week the theme for you in love it feels is going to be to um look for security and reassuring yourself and finding confidence and there we go the smoke is confirming that uh thank you guys uh be sure to check out your other signs check out the choose your own deck reading you'll pick a deck and there'll be three different readings and then your energy will guide you to whichever one has the messages for you uh, i am doing a monthly special for those of you who want private readings on my patreon starting at two dollars guys starting at two dollars on patreon um what you can do is go on there and uh, pledge to donate two dollars a month and i will either answer 
one question for you each month for two dollars or i will pull a card at the beginning of the month with a with a little bit of a theme of what what each month is going to have in store for you but do check out my patreon there's going to be other videos there too other posts there too starting at two dollars guys you can access all of that um do reach out to me if you want a private reading as well a, a longer one and i hope this helps guys till next week don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already